further to my video yesterday which thank you to all the people that have written in over that I'm uh, very pleased with the results but I found out one of the reasons why we only get 55 watts on a good day from this particular amplifier look at this this is how the original heat sink was presented to the chip the chip obviously sits on top of this sill pad and there are two spaces here to stop the metal of the heat sink shorting onto the components no problem you say but look at this I've placed a ruler on top of the spacer and as you can see the silicon insulation there doesn't even touch the heat sink so there's no cooling on that chip whatsoever and the moment you get it gets hot it just shuts down it's as simple as that carelessness on behalf of the seller or should say the manufacturer of this product that as I said on the previous video cannot possibly have tested this to prove the point what I've done this little heat sink here I've sawn it across here so all you've got is a straight piece of metal I've removed those insulating or spacers and I've put this in its place with an insulation pad you know the proper thin ones and not that it actually needs to be insulated because the heat sink I suppose would be live so to speak if it wasn't insulated but that's not really an issue but I've insulated it anyway with one of the proper thin pads and put a blob of silicon grease on both sides basically apart from the obvious function but to also hold it into position while I offer it up to the board and we've now got some interesting results which I'll show you in a minute I appreciate this is not copper and is not aluminium either but it was just to prove the point that the reason it kept shutting down prematurely is because of what I've just shown you it, the heat sink now gets very hot under its own right and still shuts down so the answer long term is this heat sink is simply not adequate it's fine on eight ohms but on four ohms it gets very hot now externally you can see the board is now somewhat higher than it was but it is a good thing which just means it clears those components adequately but you can just about see out of focus the shiny heat sink extension underneath the board there so what I'm going to have to do now is to explore some kind of heat sinking now on some of the boards you know you've seen already you can buy this with a fan and I'm not talking about the double fan one um, but you can buy it with a, a single computer type fan and I'm suggesting that if you're thinking of buying one of these boards that's the way to go I would abandon completely this type of heat sinking on the board particularly if you're going to run four ohms because it's simply not adequate and because this heat sink is so thick I don't mean stupid wise but <laughs> um, it takes quite a while to heat up whereas ironically you want the fins and the base part to be relatively thin so that it responds very quickly and then the heat can be taken away with an external fan I mean this is fine without a fan with this kind of thickness but the one that I've shown you previously with the fan on it 
where the fins are very thin, it's very efficient. And I think if you're going along the lines of buying one of these, that's where I would go. I would completely abandon the ones that look like this with the capacitors touching the heatsink because they're... So here we are again, one kilohertz. You can see the oscilloscope just looking for clipping. We're running at the moment on 45 volts. We still have a heating problem that the heatsink clearly with that piece of metal in between is not the solution. It's just an example of the problem, if that makes sense. But we'll wind it up anyway. I don't know if you can see the meter. Um, same scale as usual, three volts, and we'll wind it up. Now, it's hard to define where maximum power is, because if you look at the scope, that's just beginning to get a bit of the fuzzies and the clip light has gone out. But that's almost 25 volts. And that corresponds to 72 watts into 8 ohms, which is a big improvement over our previous figure of 55 watts. But that was at 34 volts so we'll whip this down to 34 volts and see if we've actually gained anything because if you remember yesterday's video we couldn't get any more power with more volts um, purely a current thing that the heat sink was getting or the chip itself was getting too hot and um, it was coming into protection so we've got 40 uh, 34 volts now and we'll see if we've got any improvement over yesterday. There's clipping and that's 21, 21.5 volts, which is fifth, just under 58 watts, which again is an improvement over yesterday's figure, 55 watts. Now, the reason it hasn't gone up very much at this low voltage is because before that was the maximum, it would dissipate before the protection was coming in. But now we've got, I was going to say better heat sink, but some heat sink. When we increase the voltage, we of course increase the power. So proving the point, basically, See, this heat sink now is getting really quite toasty just on that small test that we've done. Quick test again with 4 ohms. Now, I haven't tested this with 4 ohms yet, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. But I suspect even at 34 volts, our power is going to go up. But I suspect it will still overload because this heat sink gets overheated. So let's have a look. Well, the, the clip light's gone out and it's shut down. So I didn't get a chance to do the reading then, but we will reboot and see what we've got. This time I'll switch it off before. And it's just clipping. Uh, no. Well, I've had to do this off camera because A, my heatsink is getting too hot and it still keeps cutting out. But I managed to get 81 watts out of it with just 34 volts going in. Now, there's no point in, in increasing the voltage because obviously watts is volts times amps. So what have we got to do? Uh, first of all, we need to take the 4 ohm load off because my heat sink is going to melt otherwise on my load box. I'm going to publish this video and if once I've done it properly and sorted out a proper solution for this, I can't put the type of fan on that I was describing because there's no space. So we are stuck with some other kind of heat sink rather than this one. I could put a fan on the top, but I think it's too slow to react. Um, so I, I don't think we're going to gain a lot with that. One thing I would point out is that of course, we're putting sine waves in and 
when you're playing music, you won't get that huge current consumption. It'll be 20% of these numbers. So you will be able to get, I hate to use the word, but music power probably will um, approach the 80 or 90 watts into 8 ohms, which hmm, heatsing is always the problem, isn't it? Anyway, let me know what you think about this. Leave some comments and like the video as they say in all the best videos and press that bell. <laughs> Can't believe I've said that.